Hey, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. Uh, we are still at Maximilian currently, but um, hopefully we'll be leaving here soon. What we're waiting for, though, is we have a new Panther, which we've refitted to replace, replace our dagger with. Um, so we're just waiting for that to get fixed. So right now we're down to three mechs. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to choose, um, oh, if we remember correctly also, too, our Panther, we're down a double heatsink. So we have to go without one. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the contracts. Just going to pull off a real quick mission here for this episode. It's going to be the hot landing mission here. Um, at half skull, we should be fine with three mechs. So let's see how that goes. Um, satellite surveillance pictures show that a heavy lance was inserted on the planet's surface by a pirate dropship. Currently, we believe they're securing the LZ, preparing for whatever operation they have planned. Before they finish securing the area, we'd like you to interrupt them. They're heavy, heavily armed, so expect a strong resistance. So, yeah, we're going to go down there and take care of those guys for them. Um, so, I don't think there's anything we need to do other than just get down there and drop. So, let's negotiate this and get into battle. Now, we're okay for this month, 247,000. Um, so, we've got a little bit of time, 14 days. So, we're just going to go and we're going to take all of the salvage here. Uh, and just hopefully... Hopefully we don't uh, take too much damage and have to use up some of our cash here, but uh, let's just accept this and uh, get on our merry way here. All right, three mechs, let's deploy. Yeah, we know all about that, and let's drop and see what we can do. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Three mechs on the ground. Let's do this. All right, so hostile forces are here somewhere, and probably straight ahead. Um... How much is a map board we have? Not much on that side. We got a lot on this side, so there might be reinforcements. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go check it out. We're going to reserve back to turn one like we always do here. See if they move at all. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. And I was right about the reinforcements. All right. So now we got two targets to take care of. Um, at half skull, chances are there's sensors. probably like maybe six in total three and three so we're still going to reserve back to turn one we want to see if we can get some more blips on our radar here oh, one left so let's go down say hello to this guy down here show him what kind of a bad idea it is to be uh, the first out into combat so let's see how far can we go here we're not in the woods there though um, let's run Maybe we run height down. Can't get into flamer range though, which is kind of stinky. So let's not do that then. Let's move forward. We're going to move forward ground zero. I think we're going to go right up to the edge here. We want to get the first shots in best we can. Alright, so what do we got here? Commando pirate. Eh, not a lot on this guy. Reduced armor. What's it, what is this called? Shoddy armor? Makeshift, 70%, 75% of the normal armor. Okay, so let's uh, give him a hello blast here. Roger. Yep, he's not having a good day. Sorry, buddy. That injury might be ignored, but uh, you're not going to really save you from these. Alright, I don't really care about this commando, so we're going to CT this guy and get rid of him off the board here. I mean, we're only getting 3 or 14 salvage. I don't want to pollute the loot table with stuff I don't want. So that guy's gone. Hope we can salvage that. No, I don't think we can, buddy. Alright, so height. We're going to just bring him up. I'm going to put him up on the hill up here. Uh, right in here. Lots of evasion. In the woods for some protection. See what these guys do next turn. Okay, and we're going to reserve past once again. We've all got some good evasion here, with the exception of uh, Flatliner, so I think we're probably okay. So we got four guys on this side. Two vehicles and two mechs. Alright, what do we got up here? A dagger. So let's remove this guy from the battle. He's off by himself now. Full misses. Nice. So it's nice to have as many chevrons of evasion as you can. If you're going to fire, uh, especially early in the game, my advice is to sprint as much as you can. It's harder to hit the enemy, but then, then again, it's also harder for them to hit you. So let's get Flatliner down here to say hello to this guy. I think we want to invite this guy to the barbecue, so let's get him down here. 
Um, I want to try and stay as far away from the other guys as I can. Uh, I'm not really worried about not being able to fire the LRMs here. But my goal is to try... Because this guy is so evasive. Here you are. We want to stay away from these guys, so hopefully they won't be shooting us next turn. So let's get hype down here for their official barbecue invitation. It's nice that he's got that mask on. He's just so fast. All right, let's barbecue this guy if we can. The thing I don't like about the dagger is the fact that it's got those SRMs that add heat. So now let's see. Keep going away from the enemy. Try and turn a little bit. Yeah, see, we've already lost one of them off our radar there. So we're going to fire both weapons. Hopefully we hit with one. Nope. That's fine. Let's see what the dagger does. Got a little bit of pressure on him now. So something with a tag back there. I bet you it's one of those advanced fire starters. If I had to make a wild guess, that is what I would guess. Okay, so height, we're going to take him around to the back of this dagger. Make him a little even more worried. And once again, we've still got heating problems on this guy, so we're going to have to start thinking about what we're going to do. So that was two hits, I think. Yep. Nice. So this dagger is like, now he has to worry about what he's going to do. If he doesn't move, which he's not, huge mistake. So that's an auto cannon. Mm, Panther? Or was that a vehicle? Could have been a vedette. Something like that. Taking guesses. Uh, let's sprint back here. Right here. Uh, I want to get this guy off the field as fast as I can too. So I'm going to point blank this guy with the PPC and small laser and hopefully get lucky here. Yep, there we go. So I don't think we're going to get much salvage off him. That's fine, I'm not really worried about that. So we're going to really focus on these other guys. So we've got a Pegasus coming in here. A little bit of damage. Are those LRMs with dead fire ammo? Why is it 7 damage? Oh, Pirate Locust. Okay. So the Pegasus is probably more of a worry. Two SRMs and a la uh, medium laser. How much armor do we have here? Yeah, we might be able to do something to that guy. This guy... Um, I think, you know what, we're going to attack the Locust. I find that they have a tendency to run. And we, maybe we can get him running the opposite direction. So we're going to back up away from him here. Let's get our LRMs on board here. Ah, we might as well fire the medium lasers. It's not going to affect our heat. So we'll just fire everything. Put a little bit of worrying damage on him. Hopefully he runs away. I like to try and face the like the minimum amount of opponents as we possibly can at one time. There's no point in like you know taking on an entire group of guys if we don't have to. So let's fire. We got some good good uh, to hit chance there. That's it for him. Nice. Target neutralized. Cool. So three up, three down. We got three left here. Commando. So I was right about that guy. 25 damage. So it's a uh, AC2. Hmm. So height. Let's put the turbos on. Um, let's get down in here and see if we can put some damage on this vehicle here on the Pegasus. Keep these rocks between us and the other vehicle here. 25%. What is it for this guy here? 20. So it's lower. So we're going to go after the Pegasus. We're going to leave one of our flamers off. Fire three. Uh, one hit, 26 damage, not bad. And for some reason he's panicking because of flamers. He's like leaving the commando there to die, I, I don't understand, but whatever. We're going to back up, put our LRMs on that commando. We've already taken a little bit of damage, we don't want to take any more, so we're just going to put some damage on this guy. Not a lot, but enough to give him a uh, thought about running away. He's got five chevrons of evasion, too. So, that's PPC and an awful amount of rockets there, so we're going to have to get eyes on that guy. Manticore, maybe? 
Drillson, something like that? I don't know. Um, let's not sacrifice height by getting him in there too fast. Let's move up. We're going to take care of this uh, commando first, I think. Force that other guy to move forward. So let's fire at this guy. Um, now I'm not going to push him back. I was thinking about just doing a uh, a um, offensive push on him, but we're just going to destroy him. And we're not even going to hit him. So how does that sound? Let's see where he's going here. Looks like we can maneuver height over there to put him in a position where we don't have to worry about the other guy shooting at him next turn or this turn. So let's get him. Um, we can't. There we go. Somewhere in there. He'll be up behind the rocks there. A little harder for them to hit him. Hit this guy in the side. We're going to put four flamers on him. Hopefully we hit with at least one. Nope. Oh, he ain't standing still for you, buddy. But, he doesn't need to be standing still to blast him with tons of missiles. Now, what's the Pegasus up to here? So he can get a line on the fire starter. But, minimal damage. So it's nice that they're they're darting in and out. Kind of gives us the opportunity to... On the way. To, um not have to worry about get taking too much damage and we don't really need to present a better front than we already are. So let's try and take this Pegasus out. I don't like those double SRM6s. Nope. But we got uh, Ground Zero to take a shot on. Oh, it's a Rottweiler. No, 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 no. No PPCs. No PPCs. Okay, Rottweiler is the priority target now. What has he got? Oh, it's only a light PPC. It's only 35 if he hits. And two streak fours. So let's finish up the Pegasus first, since it's almost down here. We'll do that, and then we'll worry about killing the Rottweiler. So let's take height. Actually, we might be able to get both. Let's get height down here. And we'll try and side, this, side hit this guy. All we need is one good shot on him. So we're only going to shoot three because that's all we can hopefully we get one hit two three it looks like we got him nice whoa that's a awfully big explosion <laughs> for flamers it's still going <laughs> he's trying to get away oh man there's a few of those explosions that i absolutely love i had one that went like half half the height of the map board here it was crazy He's dying and he's still running away. Uh, okay, let's... How much armor? Okay, this guy's got a fair bit of armor, but I think a good PPC hit anywhere. What do we got? 92 damage. So we'd have to hit him at the back. So we can't really kill him in one shot. So let's attempt. We're going to move down here. Not going to run, but we're going to move down and we're going to try and remove this guy from the, from the fight here. All right, he's not having a good day. That hit something good. It sure did. Is he going to knock him over? Nope, but we'll knock him over now. So we don't need to move too close. We're just going to stand here, I think, and attack, because that Rottweiler can't see us. So we're going to unload everything on this guy and see if we can pull him out of the game. And he's gone. So now let's focus on that Rottweiler, since yeah, well, that's the only guy that we can focus on. Um, so we should be able to take this guy out, I think, this turn. At least he's brave. Moving in. Okay. So what we'll do... We're going to move height over to the side here. We should be able to kill this guy this turn. We're going to side sh shoot this guy. Four flamers. All four should hit. Yep. Some good damage there. Ground zero up. Follow up from the side. Acknowledged. With that PPC, we should be able to just take him out here. Oh, no. How close did we get, though? That's interesting. Well, not bad, but we should be able to finish it up with here with some missiles. Um, yeah, we can see him, so let's unload everything on him. There we go. 
Didn't even need the missiles. Cool. That's the end of that. I have become death. You have become death. Mission. Cool. So that was just one fast mission. That's all I got time for today, so we're just going to do that. Uh, once we get back, we'll uh, fix our mechs up. See how much closer we are to getting our Panther back. So we made 11,000. Um, chances are it's about that much in payout uh, for armor repair. But let's see what we can get. Let's see if there's a double heatsink somewhere in there. Unlikely, but that's our first priority. So let's see, dagger parts, loc well, locust parts, not a whole lot there. EMP, NARC beacon, a couple of streaks, streak fours. We don't have any use for them just yet. Spike cockpit, ECM warfare suite, that's worth something. Let's take that. Ferrofibrous armor. Uh, no double heat sinks though. Endo steel. So let's take some ferro. Um, spike cockpit though, I, I mean. We might be able to use that for later. It's only two tons, too. Um, rather than normal cockpits being three tons. However, this is a better cockpit with sensor distance and sight distance. Resolve gain and injury resist. So let's take this guy, I think. We're going we're gonna to leave the streaks. We don't really need them right now. We have no real use for them. So let's do that. We'll take these. Confirm that. And what do we get here? Three locust parts. Eh, not a big deal. AC2. Pirate heavy machine gun. What is this? Three shots. One heat. Sorry, three damage times ten. One heat each. For what? Two tons? Three slots. Plus 50% overheat damage. Two variable damage. Hmm. If I wasn't worried about ammo explosion, that would be good for the fire starter to reduce the amount of heat. Oh, I generate 10 heat though. Hmm. Well, we might be able to find a use for it later on. All right, let's just pick these up. Oh, we got some uh, Inferno SRM ammo, which we already have. But all right, let's repair our mechs, and then I'll think I'll end this episode for today. It was just a quick battle, and then. Uh, Hopefully, maybe next time we can get our uh, Panther back and get into a four mech mission. And 6000 for repairs, so we made five grand. Hey, not bad. Thought we were going to lose money on that one. All right. Just quickly repair these guys, and then next time when we come back, um, I'll probably have a little bit more time. And uh, with eight days to the financial report, we can probably pull off one more mission. Um, with three mechs, it can always be tricky because you never know what you're going to get, but we might try interdiction and, and go after a convoy. I know there's eight eight units at once, but uh, with two LR, like two long range max, uh, I think we might be able to do it. Or the lost arrow, we might be able to do this one as well. But um, yeah, so we're going to end it here, and uh, we'll see you all next time.